Bunny and it is time for my back to school giveaway. You guys know I have done this every year that I have been on YouTube. I try and make them bigger, better, and more amazing every single year. I have a whopper of a gigantic giveaway all stacked up behind me. I'm very excited to get into it. You guys know usually this video is in two parts. The first part I explain the rules, which I'm gonna try and do under two minutes because I know rules are boring and nobody really likes to listen to them and stuff. And then the rest of it is going to be a haul of the massive amount of items that I have to give away to one lucky Swamp family member. As usual, you guys know I like my giveaways to be enormous and I like them to be a winner take all sort of thing. I know some people like that and some people don't, but I give away so much stuff to one person in hopes that obviously they're going to share. Maybe they'll donate some of the extra supplies if they don't need all of the notebooks and all, but this year I think I did a pretty good job of getting kind of like a whole complete everything you're gonna need and then because it's me I threw in some frivolous stuff as well. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Your support really helps me out a lot. Also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe because you've got to be subscribed anyway to win this giveaway. So subscribe, hit the bell, be notified, all of those good things that everyone likes to say on YouTube. Also I will link you guys down below to previous back to school giveaway haul videos. I know some of you guys like to see every year what we've done. And uh, if you watch them all in order, you can slowly but surely see my makeup skills progress year by year. I know that I am getting this giveaway going started kind of late this year. It has been a wacky, wacky summer, so forgive me. Also, I know a lot of you guys don't start for like another month or something. Uh, plus a laptop is in here, so I don't know at any point of time when you don't need a laptop lap, lap book, laptop, MacBook, that thing behind me. Forgive me. If you're mad at me, don't enter. Rule number one is, of course, you must be a subscriber here to my channel, Graveyard Girl. And same as my last giveaway, you also must be subscribed to my second channel, which is Banana Peppers. YouTube is free, it's easy, it's very quick to sign up for an account. So those are the only two things that you must do is be subscribed to my two channels. They will be linked down below. Everything will be super easy to understand. Speaking of linked down below, the way you enter my giveaway is the same as you enter every giveaway I've done for probably over a year. The very first link in the info box will take you to the widgets fidget widget. I really don't know what it's called. It's kind of like an app. It's called Gleam. I think most YouTubers run giveaways through that service. It's a great thing. It helps me select a winner at total, totally random. I'm going to try and make this a little bit clearer this time because I know in my last giveaway, which was about two weeks ago, there was some confusion. So the first link in the info box is what you must click on to enter. It will take you to my Tumblr page. You do not have to have Tumblr to enter. It's just going to take you to my Tumblr page, which is www.swampfam.com. That is where the giveaway is hosted. This giveaway widget uh, must be hosted on a website, so I just host it on my Tumblr. It's nice and easy, but once again, you don't have to have Tumblr to enter. You just must visit a Tumblr page to be taken to where you enter. I hope that that's not confusing. As always, I feel like these giveaways are extremely simple. All you have to do is click the first link in the info box. Uh, then everything in the widget is self-contained. It sort of makes like a checklist, like it checks to make sure that you're subscribed. Um, and then there's a bunch of other optional entries. We'll get into those in just a minute. There's also a lot of other confusion about how I get people's email addresses to email them if they won and it asks you to input that information when you are entering the giveaway. So it will ask you for your name and it will ask you for your email address and that is how I have all of that info. So uh, once again the only thing you must 
must do is be subscribed to this channel and to Banana Peppers. If you subscribe and unsubscribe, it will remove your entry, okay? Gleam is smart. And I think we had a lot of attempted cheater beaters last time. We had a ton of entries in that giveaway. This is so much longer than two minutes. We had a ton of entries in the last giveaway uh, and many of them were disqualified because Gleam sorts through. It can tell if somebody subscribes just to enter and then unsubscribes. So don't do that. Don't try and be a sneaky snake, okay? Because because the robots will catch you. Like I said, the only two things you must do is be subscribed to this channel and to Banana Peppers, but there is a million optional entry methods that you can do. You can follow me on Twitter. You can tweet some giveaway tweets. You can repost a picture on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, follow me on Snapchat. There's like a trillion different ways. I think last time, uh, for my last giveaway, there was like 70 different ways that you could enter. Some of the things you can do once a day throughout the entirety entirety of the giveaway, uh, thus giving you more entries like tweets and stuff like that. Um, so there is that. That will all be explained in the fidget widget. All you have to do is click on the first link down below. Also, don't be spooked if the first time you click on it and try and enter, it doesn't work. Just be persistent and try and try again. A lot of times, Swamp Family members will flood the site all at once. It slows things down, but just refresh, come back in 10 minutes, try again, and you should be able to enter. I think everybody who kind of had those complications got through it last time, so that's always a good thing. The giveaway will be open from today through the 31st. I thought that that was clever because it's like it, it opens on the 13th, closes on the 31st. For 31st? What is that? It's like those things like race car where you can spell it forwards and backwards. The winner will be chosen September 1st because the giveaway ends August 31st at midnight. Uh, so the winner will be emailed by me. So make sure whatever account, uh, whatever email you leave, make sure it's an email address that you have access to because if you're chosen as the winner and you just put in a goofy fake email address, that goofy fake email address is the one I'm going to be sending a message to. So if it doesn't reach you, do, do you see what I'm saying? I'm making this a really <laughs> difficult sentence. I need to go back to school. Winner gets 72 hours from the time that I email them to respond and claim their prize. And a lot of people start getting very, very fussy with me, like the instant midnight at September 1st, uh, because like, where is the giveaway winner? So like, I choose the winner, but then I have to email them and they have to respond and claim their prize so I can make sure, you know, that I don't know what could possibly go wrong. Uh, but just so I can make sure that the winner who was chosen can respond and give me their address, all sorts of important stuff like that. Uh, so the winner may not be announced until like September 3rd or September 4th because they have that whole window of time to respond. And as always, I think that there is a ton of confusion about where I announce the giveaway winner, but I say it every single time. Once the giveaway has concluded and the winner has been chosen, uh, it will be announced in the info box of this video. Obviously, if you're entering, you have access to this video, and I'm asking you guys to subscribe to be entered so you have access to this channel. So just check back here. Between the period of like September 1st through the 4th, and hopefully we should have a winner up and pick by that time. It is open internationally worldwide to all Swamp Family members and also uh, please don't beg me for this prize, okay? I say this every year and I feel that this giveaway is the most like beggy uh, that, that it ever gets. It depresses me, literally. It makes me feel very sad. Obviously I wish I could buy thousands of school supplies for absolutely everyone out there who needs school supplies, but unfortunately I don't have a money tree in my backyard. Anyway, please don't beg me for these school supplies, okay? I'm, uh, I'm assuming that if you're entering to win school supplies, it's because you need them for some reason. So anybody of any age can enter to win this. You can enter to win it for somebody else if you've got grandchildren or nieces, nephews, cousins, uh, you want to donate it all to charity, you can do whatever you want with this stuff. That's what I always say, like, please don't light it on fire or throw it in the garbage can. Make sure that it goes to good use somehow. Um, but you know, as always, I feel like some of this stuff is on like the younger student side. Some of it you can use obviously like a notebook or a MacBook, like even when you're in college. 
so I never know who like what age student is gonna be winning these items so I just kind of buy a little bit of everything that I see that I like that I think is fun you guys know that I always try and get the fun school supplies uh, because like literally back to school time was a enormous source of anxiety to me and I know that some people love school but I hated school so uh, definitely I try and buy and get some things that I feel will bring cheer into somebody's life and maybe help you get excited for back to school if it's not your favorite thing once again I feel like I I'm kind of like a useful person at heart so I feel like I would use everything that's fine me at this moment but I don't know I don't know anybody's life you know you might outgrow crayons I don't know I I don't let's finally get into the prizes I said I was gonna keep it under two minutes and it's nearly 12 minutes I'm failing time to get started with the haul so you can actually see what you can win and we can all be excited and high five that was a really bad song sippy sippy all right Ooh, prizes behind me. I did a little like pan where I was showing you guys all the prizes. Ooh, this isn't even a flat lay. It's just like a, a pile, uh, but I laid it all out for you guys. I did a little festive camera work. So just out loud say, ooh, ah, I'm excited. Appreciate the the far too long. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how long I spent laying this stuff out, okay? The very first, possibly most absurd thing that you will win, you might have seen in my video last week, which was sadly the last time I've uploaded a video to this channel. It is the big, big, world's biggest, literally the world's biggest backpack. It's tie-dye, it's two and a half foot tall. What is anyone gonna do with this? I don't know but I thought it was hilarious. And so many of you guys loved it in last week's video that I thought I should give it away. Like I saw so many Swamp Family members, they all wanted to try it on. I don't know if you could use this at school. Probably depends on where you go to school. Maybe you could use it I, to make someone laugh or to put all your stuff in at home. Oh, you could use it as a dirty laundry hamper. Look at that. Um, I just showed it to you guys. Y'all loved it so much. Uh, so I wanted to give it away to you. Is that okay? Also, because I'm not totally insane yet, uh, I am giving you guys a normal sized backpack. I love this one this year. It's got clouds on it. It's so calming, which is an energy you might need if the semester gets stressful. So I found this one at Journeys. Not sponsored, I'm just trying to, I, I bought all of this stuff with my own money, okay? I, I'd like to say that every year. This is the one big, I'm so, I'm always so excited to do this uh, because I don't know, I love giving back to you guys. So every supply I bought with my own money. I went shopping, I got the backpack at Journeys and uh, the big backpack came from Spencer's, but I had to order it online. I think they only have the gold one in stores. So I ordered the tie-dye one online. I also went to Target, Staples, Walmart. I think that's it. On the backpack, you get hand sanitizer, possibly the most important back to school supply. And I put like some stress relieving stuff in here, but it's a little beach ball keychain. You can squeeze it like this. <laughs> Obviously the big, 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 big prize that probably most everyone is excited for is the brand new sealed gold MacBook. It is gold. I really, really wish Mac would do like less uh, minimalistic packaging because this honestly is the most exciting prize but it looks the most boring. Like what am I looking at here? It's like a gold line. Do all your studying on it. Maybe do a little YouTubing. I'm not gonna stop you. Next very important prize that I know a lot of students need and I'm always guessing here when I buy one but it is a Texas Instruments TI-84 Plus CE calculator and it will help you with all of these studies or if you're a young child you can just do like two plus two. Dang there's a lot of confusing buttons in here. What does VARS mean? V-A-R-S? Oh. Math was my least favorite subject. History was my favorite subject. Next kind of like bag thing. I know a lot of you guys loved this one. The brand is Toka Boca and I got it at Target. So this is your little lunch pail. It's like a little cat and he looks like he's, uh, well, he has a little tongue, but he's like, click, click, click. This is like a really frivolous supply. 
that I think everyone needs. It's a label maker. So label maker comes with a thing of tape. I separated all the pens, pencils, highlighters, erasers, and crayons, but I'm not gonna show you that yet because first I'm gonna show you possibly the most fascinating lock in the world. Look at this, do you have a locker perhaps? Do you need to lock something up? I don't even understand how this works. Look, you just, you like slide it somehow. There's like a way of doing this. Maybe also twisting is involved. I don't, why does this fascinate me so much? It's supposed to be a speed dial. Um, wouldn't it be crazy if I was just like messing with it and then I figured out your combo? I promise I didn't peek, I don't know your combo. First I have this Shopkins set of many pencils. They might smell like something, I don't know. They've got cute Shopkins erasers and I think like some activity books in here. I don't know. Uh, that's, that's maybe like not a school supply, but pencils sure are. Aren't they cute? I also have magical hollow pencils. Look at that. And I have black pencils because these were just way too cool to me. They have black erasers. Also, for some reason, I decided one pack of black pencils was not enough. So I bought two. Yeah, in fact, have two packs of black pencils, 24 and 12. Let's bust out that calculator to find out what number that is because I don't know off the top of my head. Comment down below what it is. Help me with my problems. Up next, we've got two fun looking packs of pencils. You know I always love to give you guys the fun supplies. Uh, so these are Ticonderia, Ticonderoga, whatever that word is, but they're fun colors. And then look at these. They remind me of Yikes school supplies from the 90s, the golden era. Um, if you guys know what yikes are, whew, I wish they still made those, but these are close to yikes. It's, it's equally as fun, I promise. You also get a stack of mood changing Swamp Family pencils. So as you hold them, they change color. I don't know if it's gonna work under the lights, but they change color and they're from me and they've got our flying gator on them. I got some chunky pencils. Look at these. They're like, oh, they're, oh, they're for babies. It says my first. Okay. I just was like, ew, two chunky pencils. That's what I want to give away. I have these, which is a sack of mechanical pencils. And there's probably like 12 in here. Yes, 10 plus two bonus pencils. I have a magical number of fun colored pins. So I think I give these away every year, which are the Ink Joy pins in just about all imaginable colors. These look new and fun for this year. They are called the Gelosity. So I think that they are clickable gel pins. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of excited to not find out because I didn't buy a set for myself. And lastly, these are my favorite pens probably that have ever existed, which are the RSVP pens. And I'm sure I tell this story every year, but once again in the 90s, this was like the most, like you traded mood rings for these pens. Okay, so it was serious. These had serious serious value. Also these pens, which are covered in paper. I don't know. They were like really fascinating to me. I found them at Target. Up next, you guys know I love to give away a variety of crayons. And every year at Target, they do all of these special magical packs of special magical crayons. So this one I of course got because it has a gator on it. I don't care that it says Bubblesaurus down below. That's not a dinosaur, okay? It's a magical alligator. He's having a lot of fun. It's definitely not a dinosaur. We also have a ballerina twirl because this cat looked like it was having a really great life and I don't, I don't even know what colors are in here. There's 16 colors, that's amazing. Uh, we also have mermaid tails, because this is just about the cutest mermaid I ever did see. And lastly, we have Sparkle Party. I don't know what that is. Is that a horse? I think it's a horse. Uh, you'd think I'd know, horses. We also have the 120 crayon pack, and this better have a pencil sharpener in it. Oh yes, bonus sharpener inside. Also, you can quite apparently name this new color of crayon, which, correct me if I'm wrong, it just looks blue. 
Can we name it blue? Up next we have 100 super tip washable markers. I don't even know how there's a hundred colors in here without being redundant. I feel like it's kind of one of those like colorblind tests where it's like, can you see the number three in here? Of course, I am giving away the Mr. Sketch scented colored pencils. They have all sorts of fun smells in here, including stinky cheese. Why did I buy three sets of colored pencils? See? someone can share. These were new and fascinating to me for this year because they are erasable colored pencils. Can't say I've ever seen that. And look at the erasers. They're like colored to coordinate each color of colored pencil. Magical. And also every year I love to give these away because they're just aesthetics. Okay, so it's Twistables colored pencils and it's like clear. You can see the lead inside of there. It fascinates me. I actually tested out the blue shade. It's okay, it just needs to be a little a little sharpened. Uh, but it is dry erase colored pencils. I, I just had to know if it worked and it did. So you can write on a dry erase board with these colored pencils, craziness. I want the winner to let me know how cool these are because these are new from Crayola and they're called wedge markers. I, I don't even know what that means or I mean, I guess I do know what it means. It's like the tips of the markers are wedges. But why is that beneficial? I don't know. It fascinated me, so I bought them to give away. We have Sharpies, a big old set of 18 of them, meaning you get most colors, including sky blue, turquoise, and aqua, and navy, so four shades of blue in here. Plus, you get three metallics in gold, silver, and bronze, so you can participate in the Olympics if you want. You get a pack of the three of them with the magical clear tips. I don't know why this fascinates me every single year. You get nail polish highlighters. So they're highlighters that look like little bottles of nail polish. I wish I could open them, but I feel like that would be rude. These aren't mine. And you get popsicle highlighters. So highlighters in the cutie booty little shapes of poppy sickles. You also get these two because they're fun. Maybe you can keep one. Give one to a friend. Are you pink or are you green? I'm green for gators. Uh, but they were just fun. Too fun, in fact, to pass up. You love each other. You love each other. <laughs> Ooh, listen to their eyes fun. You also get, of course, two jumbo scented markers. I got like cinnamon this year. Isn't that amazing? Fireball orange. <gasps> and the frog. I know I've gotten him in years past, but he's just too cute. So I buy him at least once a year. You get a couple of random Sharpie pins. This is one of the Sharpie fine tip pins in purple and a green Sharpie see-through highlighter. And you get two Smencils. And these are like regular pencils. I think that you can even use them. Yeah, they're like number two pencils. So you could even use them on tests if you have to take standardized tests, which is like like gag me with a maggot, right? Um, but you get orange and grape jelly. And let me tell you, these are the most intensely smelliest pens, pencils on the market. Um, I have had smencils before and they are fabulous. Next, you get a bunch of erasers. You get this humorously large jumbo green eraser. Look at that. And then you get pencil topper erasers. And for some reason I decided that that wasn't enough erasers. So I got another set of erasers. So you get more pencil top erasers, more regular erasers. And then these things, which are so glorious, you put them on pencils, they go squishy squishy, they make your pencils more comfortable to write with. Then I got this, which is assorted clips. You get binder clips, I think in a couple of different sizes, and then a whole mess of paper clips. And then once again, for some reason, I decided one set of paper clips was not enough. So we got more paper clips somewhere. Yes, more paper clips, but these are even more neon. So they're more impressive, right? Yeah, more impressive. Just in case you make mistakes with all those pens and pencils I just gave you, you can wipe things out with these two mini whiteout rollers. I think that this is like the tape kind, which is not messy and you can just like do that. 
Next, we have this nice little convenient set of things. You get a hole punch, a stapler, a staple remover, a tape dispenser, a pencil sharpener, scissors, staples, and tape. And I thought that this would be good to throw in your backpack if you're a super prepared person. If you're a slightly less prepared person, maybe you could put it in your locker or leave it at home. Up next is a fun supply, which I don't know if this is required. Dry erase boards are probably not. I kind of thought that maybe you could write your homework on it or something and then erase it as you get done. But this looked new and fascinating to me. So it includes these dry erasable bright crayons and it is a black dry erase board. So I thought it was like more fun and colorful of an option. You also get a USB flash drive and it looks like Darth Vader and it's on a keychain. So there's his head and his body or like his feet and the end of his cape is down there. I thought that that was really cute and convenient because it's in keychain form. I gave away another single hole punch. I've said in videos before this is just about my favorite school supply. Um, I don't know why hole punches just fascinate the bazooka out of me. Next, we've got glue. And look at this glue. It's new glue. It says right there, new glue. So this glue goes on purple, but dries clear. Isn't that fascinating? This is another supply that I would like to use myself, but I have no need for glue. And then this glue I bought just because it's so, so cute to me. It's about a thimble worth of glue, but it's called Glue Pets. And I got the Hedgehog because it was the most fun colory one, but it has like a teeny tiny little amount of glue in here. You can rebuy the bottles or you could just like refill it, um, but it's just like a tiny little thing of glue in there. And then you have this adorable little hedgehog on the outside. Up next is more tape. Tape in a fun neon dispenser, invisible tape, and then three things of wasabi tape. I know it's called washi tape, but I mistakenly called it wasabi tape about five years ago, and that joke is still funny to me. So three rolls of wasabi tape, two that are emoji themed, because everybody is just crazy about emojis right now, and then one is ice cream. Isn't that ice cream? Yeah, it's so cute. So cute. I don't even remember buying the ice cream one, but I'm glad I did. I also have these little post-it flags in case you want to highlight things in textbooks or flag something. I don't know. Um, you also get these two mathy type supplies, which I still to this day don't know what the fiddle diddle that they're for, but many school supply lists suggested that you students needed them, so I bought them. It is a twirly pencil thing. What is this called? Pencil compass. Yep. Maybe you can draw circles with it. And then the other one is a college protractor. Hopefully, I don't know, can you use this in other non college times of your life? I also got these larger post-it sheets. I use these a lot in textbooks to make lists. I have a ruler. Ooh, look at that. It's like colored like the inside of a watermelon, which might make you miss summer just a little bit. It's okay, summer is coming again next year. I have index cards. I got three packets of these. One that's just plain white unruled. One that is ruled and colorful in case you want to use them for studying. And then this one, which is ruled neon and in a little spirally book form. All the things. We also have a lot more sticky note type things. I got this, which is a laughing, giggling poop emoji. I got these because they're just so darn adorable. There's like two, four different designs in here. They're all emoji faces. These are many and they are pizza and taco mini sticky notes. I got these every year to remind you guys to like this video. Uh, so it's like a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're a negative Nancy. Lastly, this isn't like a post-it note, but it is a little miniature watermelon notebook. Oh, you know what? I have two other little miniature notebooks as well. I think just two. Um, but I have this one, which is like one of my favorite prints. It's like if you think you're a race car driver. So I just got these couple of items. I don't know. Maybe you want to just like write notes um, to your friends or notes to yourself. Or maybe you want to do a little journaling if you get stressed out. And then I got this one, which looks like a mini composition notebook and it's got space things and space aliens and the moon. Is that the moon? Yes. In fact, 
it is the moon. Up next, we've got a couple of different ways for you to cover your books. I've got two rolls of this stuff that I always loved. It's called Magic Book covering bright book covers and then we have two stretchy book covers this one has silly animals on it which are making pretty funny faces look at this crab dude he looks totally shocked to be on this book cover right now right um and then i got this one which looked like some hippy dippy flowers and i really liked that we had a sneaky pile of like a notepad and um some cute little what are these called? Paper clips. <laughs> I just glitched. Um, so in the back, it's got a little notepad. It says, excellent note taker. And I think that these are push pins for like um, cork boards, which I didn't include in this giveaway. So I don't know why I'm giving you push pins. And then some more clips. I thought that they were cute. A rubber band ball, which I really enjoy how they sell this to you now so that you don't actually have to make it yourself. You also get a pencil pouch, which is a, which if you saw last week's video, you already saw this little guy. It's one of those ones that just like unzips and unzips and unzips and unzips until it just becomes a string. Um, or you could just leave it together and use it as a pencil pouch. But I liked it so much because it looks like jelly beans. It's so colorful and fun. And I forgot, I got two sets of watercolor paints. These, which I have never seen before, for glitter watercolors. I thought that that was very fascinating. And then just ye old standard watercolors. I don't know if this is like a school supply anymore. I always loved how messy they ended up looking once you started using them back in the good old days. I got to you guys these magnetic bookmarks, which are once again these cute little watermelon faces. We have two binders one which is gator green Woo! and then the other one which is so much more magical in person it's like glittery you guys i don't even think y'all can see can you see that it's kind of it looks kind of like rainbow glittery like a little bit it it looks really cool and sparkly in person i'm really really ooh, it's got my hair on it I'll try and keep my hair out of your giveaway prize. I'm really trying to convince you guys how cool this binder is. It uh, goes with the binders. It is a, it is five tabs and it has emojis on it. Just ignore this one. Honestly, it bothers me like that it's crying. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just emotionally disturbed when I see sad things. I'm like, don't, don't show me that. Why would you even put a sad face on a school supply? Very odd choice, Avery. Oh, I forgot. Another ironically large and fun prize is this gigantic post-it note tablet. You can write really big notes on it. I thought it might be good for your home desk to once again, like, I don't know, maybe you could like make a cool calendar on it or somewhere in here, I swear I have a planner. Oh yes, um, in case you don't want to draw your own calendar, I've given you a magical planner. I thought that this looked so cool. Is it water? Is it smoke? Is it clouds? I don't know. Up for interpretation. But it uh, has large spaces and small spaces. Actually, these are rather large too. Look at all that weekly, daily planning that you'll be able to really get in there and accomplish things. Let's look at these notebooks. I feel like I did get a pretty good assortment of college ruled, wide ruled. I don't even know if they have rules for that sort of stuff anymore, if they just let you use whatever paper that you want. My favorite notebook of the year is this cute little panda one and it is a five subject notebook and it already has little dividers in it, which are these little pandas on the side. They just look so, so cute and they're different colors so you could keep it organized for your different subjects. I don't know why I bought so many composition notebooks, but I did. Once again, if you care, please share. I got some, you know, ye old standard, it's 1980 and we're going to school. Some of these are wide ruled, some of them are college ruled, whatever, I got a stack of six of them. Then I got the fun ones like Lisa Frank and my hair. Uh, Lisa Frank dolphins. Lisa Frank puppy kitty theme. And I swear this print has been around forever. It is the cheetah. This one like really IRL does crazy things to your eyes but like fun 
crazy things. And then I got this blue kind of paint splattery one. And then I got this one, which is so much fun. It's like glittery and paint splattery and looks like the 80s. And then I got a Shopkins one. Also, I got a stack of spiral notebooks. So I got this one, which I found and loved, and it is actually graph paper. Um, and it's like perforated, so you can tear it out if you've got to turn some stuff in. Also, I bought a plain red notebook. Why? I don't know. I got this one, which says messy hair, don't care. And it's like a beautiful marble looking patina. And then I got this one, which once again, it looks like that super cool, colorful, watery, smoky kind of stuff. And then I got this one, which is like, ooh, optical illusions and then I got this one which is minions because everyone loves those this year and every year and then I got this one which Kat found and it says today is totally bananas I also got this one which is another deluxe sort of notebook thing um it's not really spiral oh it is spiral I don't know on the outside it looks like a composition on the inside it looks like a spiral so many things happening uh but it has some pockets in here and some some post-it notes already loaded. It's got a little ruler and uh, more pockets and some little calendar pages. It's kind of like a catch-all thing. And then I have these two notebooks, which are maybe like for the more fun, journal-y kind of side of your life. This one is a rainbow notepad and it says, be yourself and the letters are hollow. And then I got this hollow little notebook too. It's kind of like a journal. Um, I don't know, like when I was in high school, I had to keep like a journal, like a journal about my life, but I had to turn it in. So I don't know, I could see this being great for a project like that. Let me know if you guys ever had to do anything like that or if you have to do something like that. I don't know, I that was like one of my favorite assignments, but looking back on it, I'm like, that was kind of odd. Like, why did my teacher want to read like a diary all about my life? I'm just now thinking about that. How weird. And then the last notebook, which once again is kind of like a journal thing, is one of these sequin ones that you can like do that to. I don't know if they've got a special term for that. And then you go like that and it looks like that. And you go like that and it goes like that. And you can just do this for 12 hours at a time if you get really bored. I feel like I didn't get many folders this year. I feel like I'm kind of like a folder and notebook queen. But this was kind of a harder year, honestly, to find like fun cool school supplies there there was like really a shortage and they didn't even put school supplies out in my area until really late in the summer like really everything got fully stocked like maybe a week and a half ago tops very very odd so i got this one which does faces <gasps> Ooh, yes Ooh, yes okay um and then i got another emoji one which is just all the emojis including one of my favorites the alien and then i got this one which looked like bubble gum bubbles to me and i got this one which is shopkins and this one which is shopkins and this one which is shopkins you might need to cut things i love honestly i just noticed as i was laying these supplies out that these are literally called big kid scissors um, but I would use them. I don't know. I'm a big kid. All right, frivolous things, because I know you guys need to de-stress and unwind. The semester can be stressful. So I got this, which is more of that Toka Boca stuff, like the lunch bag, and it just has a lot of cute, adorable little activities to draw and do. It kind of reminds me of a wreck -It journal, but a little bit more focused on just drawing and doodling and coloring and relaxing. Once again, I think stuff like that is perfect for every age because you just need space to like decompress. Also, I think that, that I've given this one away in years past. It is an adult coloring book and this is the Enchanted Forest one. It is so beautiful and Dogman gets these for me all the time because they really are just so calming. You can just mindlessly color things and it's great. I am giving away more Swamp Family stuff besides the pencils. I'm also putting in one of my paper doll books and some of my gator stickers. I'm also giving away some uh, Swamp Family Temporary Tattoos, one of our gator keychains. He's fluffy, he's adorable. Also a Swamp Family wristband, a Swamp Family keychain, like that, and a Swamp Family official 
sippy sippy cup. I always give away a lip balm because that is perfect for all ages. I've always wanted to buy one of these, never had a reason. So it's one of the Sum Sum lip smackers and I picked out the Cheshire Cat. That one was the cutest to me. And I'm also giving away three palettes. I know you guys are always looking for makeup. And if you're in college, this might be a great supply for you. So of course I'm giving away one of my very own Swamp Queen palettes. And I am giving away Naked 1, 2, and 3 from Urban Decay. So you get those three palettes. I think that there's like 12 shades in each and a brush. Also I'm giving away some Play-Doh. Squeeze it, squish it, mold it. Oh, I just dropped that on these watercolors. But they survived. Um, two cans of Play-Doh. Maybe this is a school supply for someone. I don't know. It was in the school supply section, but I just thought that it was kind of nice to squish and play with and mold. I'm also giving away this cute little note set. It has 15 little... I don't know, it's like little mini stationery. I used to get these from Sanrio all the time if you like to write notes to your friends. I don't even know if people do that anymore. I'm assuming everyone just texts now. Last but not least, I think that these are the last two items. I'm giving away two squishies. They are both keychain squishies. And once again, I just thought, I don't know, you guys are always asking for me to do more and more squishy giveaways. These both came from Creamy Candy and they are just like so soft and these do wonders for me, literally. Uh, and when all my friends were in town, each of them like uh, raided my squishy stash and took one or two. So I think that they're good for everybody of all ages. So I'm giving away this one, which is a panda donut. So it's this pink and blue version. And then I'm giving away one of the rainbow jumbo strawberries. And look at this cute little, it's got a little, um, cloudy rainbow on it too. I put this on backpack purses all the time. So cute. So that is everything. I'm not even going to do a long outro because I'm sure that this year's video is like 40 minutes as well. But thank you guys so, so much for your support year in and year out. I want to keep doing these big giveaways for you guys. I love doing the one last month and I love doing this one every year. It's one of my favorite activities to get ready to do, to go out and buy school supplies for the Swamp family. So I hope you guys like what I found and picked out this year. Thank y'all so much for subscribing, for being here, for watching my videos, for hanging out with me. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know which supply was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so, so much for being here, for hanging out, and for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!